Hello everyone, uh, this video is a very 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 uh, sexual video so we will not mention the name of the Lord in it because it doesn't fit here so what we will talk about is not belly dancing for sure we will talk about Allah and his amazing wisdom and this wisdom have to do specifically with sexual desire now uh, sex is a very important uh, part of the life of a human being and actually I believe that uh, sex is not a bad thing but depend what sex is about I mean is sex is a sign of love or sex is a sign of lust and sign of using others or abusing others like how you get your sex or your sexual needs uh, if we study Islam, we will find that the sexual desire in Islam is based on abuse and slavery. In the same time, it's based on fantasy and, and, and exaggeration. It doesn't make sense. Somehow it's stupid and it promotes a, a kind of lust and uh, there is no dignity in it. Now, for sure, many of you, you know, you are wondering, uh, especially if you are a Muslim, why I'm saying so? If we go and read uh, this hadith as an example. The Kaaba, before Islam and even after Islam, after Muhammad he took over the Kaaba and he became victorious in the city of Mecca, for many years still people they practice sexual religion around the Kaaba. And what the sexual is, you can see here part of it, that people used to go around the Kaaba totally naked and they are in the state of nudity all right in certain days only they wear clothes uh, so what was that religion which is people need to go walk naked around the Kaaba the Kaaba is a pagan place and nothing changed since since that time until now this Kaaba is still a pagan place and Muhammad himself he kissed the black stone which represent the vagina so those people used to go and walk around the Kaaba worshipping the vagina praying for the vagina and many statues there but many of them they present sexual gods like if a woman she cannot have kids or she want to have a husband so she go walk naked around the Kaaba and supposedly Allah or the Baal he will provide her with a husband or a man to sleep with and at that time Arab women they used to sleep with 10 men together which means the women she can have 10 husbands at the same time and this is what it was called Zawaj al -Rahd. and I believe that the mother of Muhammad she practiced that and this is why you see there's many uh, names involved in the story of Muhammad and we do not know really who is the father of Muhammad as an example Muhammad father uh, the one the, which Muslims they give us his name he was he passed away four years before Muhammad death how this happened imagine your father he passed away four years and you are born four years after your father death. this is this is impossible as we know the only explanation that the mother of Muhammad used to practice what is called Zawaj al Rahat Zawaj al Rahat which is one woman more than one husband they can go up to ten husbands and when she get the bread net she is the one who choose who was the husband and Arab at that time used to believe that a woman she can be pregnant from husband from years ago they have their own uh, legions and their own belief and Muhammad he promote this idea after his birth this is why you will see that it says in, in many Islamic books that a woman can be pregnant up to 10 years and most of the scholars they agree with four years and for sure this is this is absolutely false but just to cover what happened with Muhammad so people used to go and practice such a sexual practice around the Kaaba as you see and then they go you will see the the Kaaba have a black stone and this black stone resemble a vagina and this vagina simply is a vagina of the goddess who provide human and the human race with babies this is why like you know can you ask yourself why why the stone is shaped this way it must be there is a reason you know the stone is not shaped by itself somebody shaped the stone in, 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 in such a way and they cover it with the frame 
uh, uh, from outside as you see but the, in, in inside it's a stone it's a black stone so it's framed in in the shape in the same shape and the shape is so clear it's a shape for a private part of a woman and Muhammad as long as he is a copy paste of all the religions he come with with things which prove and continue the sexual religion he follow the God who provide you with a lot of sex and a lot of sexual power so here the nudity around the Kaaba now is explained and why they have the black stone and then Muhammad when he continued his religion he said uh, that Allah he will give the Muslims uh, let us zoom in maybe we can make it uh, uh, bigger all right so what Muhammad is saying to you here that in the heaven of Allah Allah will give every Muslim 70,000 column or let us say bow of gold and uh, and the uh, diamond or whatever rubies and then in each door in each gate there's one woman waiting for you which means the total will be at least 70,000 only if you do jihad for 40 days but Muhammad he knew that this story will not make sense because how a man anyway like what the point of getting me all those women if I cannot have sex with all of them so Muhammad he thought of a solution to make that more convincing to his dummy followers who they are obsessed with sex and wine and river of wine this is why you see the heaven of Islam there's wine the river of wines river of drinks river of milk river of uh, you know so it, it's exactly what those Bedouin they love white women you know remember that those women are very white they are not just women so you will have 70,000 women for every 40 days you fight which means if you fight for 80 days uh, the, the, the number will be double will be 140,000 women if you fight for 20 uh, 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 for sorry for 120 days uh, then the, the number uh, uh, will be 210,000 etc etc so you can reach to millions like Osama bin Laden was fighting for 20 years doing jihad so you can imagine how many million women Osama bin Laden is going to have in his bedroom but how Osama bin Laden is going to excuse my language if those women and I say the word if because he is not having any relationship with them those are women just created for sex the purpose of it is just pure pure sex this is an F religion alright so Muhammad looked like he'd been asked okay well, how we can sleep with them if we cannot do more than one or two or three so Muhammad he come with the answer Muhammad he promised them that when they go to the heaven Allah he will give each one of them a penis who will never go limp soft or, 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 or flat and you know imagine you are driving in the middle of the desert and your flat tire goes flat I mean this is really disgusting this is very very disappointing Allah will never let that happen to you so Allah promised you that when you go to heaven Allah will give you he promise you you do not need to take a Viagra he will change the nature of your penis to the point you can maybe use it as a hammer or maybe destroy a door or a wall with it you can go in war with it and you can have sex with 70,000 women and this penis will never smoke seriously I mean this is amazing and it's full of wisdom and sperm and you don't need to worry about sperm because like look like like Allah is creating a river of a sperm for you and uh, you have a penis will never go soft so it doesn't matter how many women there are 10,000 20,000 50,000 70,000 1 million 10 million billion women it doesn't matter your penis is shooting non-stop women after women women they go to sleep because they cannot take it no more and there's an angel behind you here up in your shoulder saying to you sir you have to change next woman please you know so that an angel will be like your pimp he provide you in terms and conditions you should change the women because her vagina is burning and Muhammad because he knew that his God is the God of mercy and the God of sex so he gave you a merciful penis because if you think about it from the other point of view because now we thought about it for you as a man what if you are a woman imagine Allah he created 70,000 women for you and then those women 
you can do only three women a day so it's going to take those 70,000 women years before you can sleep with them and those women will be burning from desire and Allah is merciful so he will not let this happen so what he do he give you an extra super powerful penis you look you know like no never ever any God can provide you with such a thing except Allah and mashallah I mean this is astonishing and if you are not convinced to convert to Islam at least think about your penis future and sign now before it's too late because the number of a Viagra we have is limited and we cannot give Allah cannot, it's not, Allah will not give such a penis for everybody so first serve I mean first come first serve so please sign in convert to Islam get a powerful penis and you will never be sorry thank you very much and I hope I was able to convince you to convert to Islam and uh, it was a very 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 uh, successful sexual advice for all of you don't forget to subscribe and share the video and god bless everybody and the muslims your god he proved that he is the best god when it's come to the penis the god of penis allahu akbar